Hi everyone and welcome to Nico's Kitchen once again. Today we're doing another easy dinner recipe and it's something I get a lot of requests for. Today we're making beef stroganoff. Okay, so today we are making a super, super simple, no pun intended, beef stroganoff, okay? This is not the classic beef stroganoff, okay? It's just a really easy version, and this is what you're going to need. You're going to need some beef that we've just cut up into strips, okay? Or get your butcher to do it for you. You're going to need a can of cream of mushroom soup, okay? Cream of mushroom soup. You're going to need some sour cream, and you're going to need some mushrooms, of course. Now, like I said, this is a very throw-together, simple version of beef stroganoff. It's not the main original version, but just for a quick dinner that's tasty, this is absolutely beautiful. Let's get started. Okay, so you want to start cutting up your mushrooms first. Now, just get a knife, discard the stalk, just like that. Cut, we don't want that. On the side, and chop it up. So that's what you want, guys. Just slices, just like that, about that thick, okay, of the mushroom. Set it aside, and we're gonna go and cook our beef. Okay, hot pan, just a little bit of vegetable oil. And just put in your beef. Season with salt and pepper. Guys, we don't want the beef cooked through, we just want some nice colour on there. Once we've got some nice colour on there, add in your mushrooms. Now what you want is just softening the mushrooms, okay? You don't want to make them all soggy, but just nice and soft. Okay guys, now you want to add in your sour cream. And just mix that through. And to this, guys, you want to add in your cream of mushroom soup. Okay, guys, now I know that looks like a lot of sauce, but trust me, we're going to leave it simmer for about 10 minutes. Really reduce that down, it'll thicken up, and then we'll be ready to plate up. So there you have it guys, Nico's easy, very, very, very simple beef stroganoff. And it's perfect for you guys who are on a budget, whether you be students or anything like that. Anyone who's looking for a quick, cheap, tasty dinner will absolutely love this. So let's give this a try. Now I've just served it up with some pasta as well. You could, if you wanted to, you could serve it up with some mashed potato or whatever you want really. So let's give this a try. Always good. Mm. So guys, all the ingredients are below the page. Just click the arrow button and the whole ingredients list will come up for you. You guys take care and I'll see you next time.